Uncensored, where there's 0% filter and 100% bliss. Welcome to my channel. This weather is ridiculous. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Well, I guess I do, it's global warming. But still, like, it's ridiculous. My eyes are itchy, that's why I'm wearing my glasses. I don't know if y'all can see that their, my eyes are kind of red a little bit. Bear with me, I apologize. I have lighting facing my direction, so you'll see the glare on my glasses, I'm sorry. Don't know what else to tell you, but I can't put on my contacts right now. My eyes are too itchy and too dry. I have four stepchildren and they're all older. I never raised a child from birth. I never had a toddler to raise. I never had a seven-year-old to raise. In this video, these moms are showing their seven-year-old daughter some of these commercial ads that are anti-LGBTQ. And we're gonna see her reaction to it. Some of you may think, oh, you know, she's too young. Why, is she, why are they letting her watch this? Listen, it's reality. And to sugarcoat it and to try to cover it up is not okay neither. So I think it's best for their child to see what's going on and to have an understanding that a lot of people are ignorant in this world and it's okay to, to explain things to her. If you're allowing your seven year old to play video games where, they shoot, where they're shooting guns and bombing things and they're watching YouTube videos with a whole bunch of swear words. It's okay to show your seven-year-old videos of commercial ads that are anti-LGBTQ. They're gonna show her these videos. So I'm all for it. I support them 100%. By the way, if you wanna subscribe to them, they are called Team Two Moms. They've been around for a while. They already have 233,000 subscribers. So let's do it. By the way, they have twins. Uh, the stud is the one that birthed the twins. And then Olivia, the seven-year-old, is, the, um, is the one that the femme birthed. And they have the same donor. Hey guys, it's Ebony. And it's Denise. And it's the great Olivia. Yay. <laughs> By the way, she's not your typical seven-year-old. She's highly intelligent. And you'll, you'll see it in the way that she talks and the things that she says. Denise and I had the honor of attending an event for the Trump Project Live down in the city. It was an amazing event. If you don't know what the Trevor Project is, it is one of the largest um, nonprofit organizations for suicide prevention and crisis, uh, specifically for the LGBTQ plus youth. But of course, they help anyone and we were so inspired by the stories of those who have received services with the trevor project the many literally stories, the many yeah, stories yeah. and it's um it saved so many lives and i feel like that initiative is just so important for our youth so absolutely we Go definitely have donated to them um, i think we now have this feature um, right under our video where you guys if you want to can also donate to the trevor project i think you know a part of being a part of the community is supporting the community and we definitely wanted to show our and do your research before you do so because you don't just want to give your money out and it's not going where it's supposed to you guys would also share your support i mean even a dollar goes a very long way um so all of it is going to be donated towards the trevor project now we haven't done a pride video or anything pride or lgbtq specifically related this month so we wanted to revisit our roots and we've done a lot of reacting reacting videos and reacting to different I got it. We've never got Olivia's reaction. So we wanna um we've always taught Olivia and, and led by example by just showing Olivia things. We've done this before. And Olivia is definitely not too young to see certain things in our opinion because uh, in this day and age of social media, one, it's very easy for kids to tap into different things. And two, Olivia is a very mature young lady. I agree. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna react to four videos um they're random videos that i picked some are really good inspirational and some might be a little challenging but we just want to see we all going to react um one of these denise and i definitely have already reacted to mm -hmm. um but yeah it's just great to pull in olivia's feedback and have you react okay all right so we're gonna go into the first video now <laughs> Are you cold? I'm, I'm so, so proud of you. Okay. Let's read a book. What you learn in school today, Mom. Mom. So what are they doing? They're just talking, talking about each other. Day. Yeah, but what are they actually learning how to do? They're learning how to do sign, sign language. Yes. Mom. We're going to be your new mommies. We're going to be your new mommies. Hard for a reason. Working together, we can help you prepare financially for when two becomes three. So did you get why? Together we'll go far. Did you get why they were learning sign language? They can hear. So let me explain to you the context of it. So what it is is that it's two mommies, like me and mommy, that are learning sign language because they're about to adopt a little girl and so for a little girl communicates through sign language so because they're adopting her they want to be able to communicate with her right in this video the two moms it's a two mom family that is very similar to who <laughs> yes what i loved about this video is the fact that it was uh, a very well-known brand showing instead of the perspective of a straight family show the same sex family and i mm -hmm. think that is just remarkable and i love and they need to start normalizing it because it is normal y'all it's normal homosexuality didn't just happen it is what it is and it's been around forever just like straight people, just like heterosexuality. It's been around forever. So everyone, I believe, needs to stop um, trying to brush it under the rug and hide it from their children. Why are you hiding it? When you're hiding it from your kids, you're basically telling them and letting them know that it's wrong and it's not. So let's normalize it, everyone. Love for Olivia to see ads that represents her family. Her family, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go now to the next video. Okay. So this is So basically what they're saying is two men should not have a child, that there should be a mother involved. Now, I don't agree with that. I truly believe that that yes, I believe that they need someone who's nurturing and one of those men could be. It's just ridiculous. In this video, mm -hmm. so I'm glad I want to be able to see this. I want her to understand the difference of different families. So this little boy in this video has two dads okay. and he got hurt and there was someone else's mom that comforted the little boy so what this ad is saying that that kids should have a mom and a mom and a dad not two mommies not two dads <laughs> you see that reaction girl Perfect that's right reaction. she looks like she's like doesn't it make no that sense, right, Olivia? Perfect. Yeah. Oh my God. Right, yeah, Olivia? Don't face. make no sense. Her face my reaction as well. said it all. <laughs> Why is that your reaction? That is so not cool. You see? <laughs> that is so, so not cool. I don't understand. And she's a kid. There's not really much you can really say because with words, people but. Should be able to have two dads and two moms. Oh my God. I love this little girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys. 
hit that like button. Gotta right raise now. your children with love. A major yeah. advocate. I think she's gonna be a politics slash a teacher. Cause she wants to be a teacher. I mean, yeah, I she's, she's a smart one. Something about her, she's gonna be in some type of leadership. Some type of activist, I feel like, others. honestly. I don't know, I just feel like that's gonna be your part time. Like you're gonna be <laughs> in it, you know? Or maybe your full time, I don't know. But that reaction said it all. All right, let's go to the next one. You ready? Last one. Cooper, I am your father. No, no, no. I am your father. <laughs> That's gotta be the worst fair ever. <laughs> Camel Star Wars soups. How about you be Chewbacca? <laughs> Made for real. That's cool. Real life. That's, That's cool. That's so cool. I like that. <laughs> right? I did like that. That was a good video. Oh, yeah. That was a good video. Uh, but why do you think it was a really good video? Because there, was, there wasn't very problems in it. Mm-hmm. And there was just them playing and eating. Mm -hmm. And who were the two men to the, to the little boy? The dad. Yes. <laughs> but what I like about what Olivia did, like for her, and especially, it's like, it's like you just wish that perspective always stays in people's lives but for her she just saw you know a family playing together like for her it wasn't like the the obvious of it being two dads because right. that's a, a sense of normalcy for her like right. that's normal to her so for her it was like that was such a cute video because they were playing while eating you yeah. know <laughs> not it's such a cute video because they're, they're two dads to her it was like a family moment and that's it and that's what a kid should just see and just notice it's it's just a family but when you have uh parents who are raising their children a certain way they're gonna be like ill What's that? Like, that's not right. And, you know, you just kind of wish that that's... And it's ignorance. It's just not knowing. And it's not being informed. And if you inform them, there wouldn't be no ignorance. Everyone <laughs> perceived yeah. it. Like, so that there are more commercials mm -hmm. and more movies. Olivia, what would you think about a Disney movie mm -hmm. being about a princess falling in love with the princess. Oh, that would be so cool. Or a prince falling in love with the prince. <sighs> I would love to see I that. I don't think there would be anything that Disney would create like that. You see, she that is so Disney sad. Movie. I'll watch it. That is so sad that even a child thinks that Disney, the most biggest corporation, the most biggest network of children movies, won't ever do something like that. That is so sad to me. Yay! All right, Disney, you hear that? Our daughter mm -hmm. would watch it. Maybe you think it's biased because she has two moms, but she says she would That's watch okay. it. That's okay. It's part of her normal life day to day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love having these conversations with Olivia. We love when she's open-minded to having these conversations with us. How do you think this went? Pretty good. <laughs> I think, I think, I think. Really, really, really think really good. If there's one advice, Ali, that you can give to kids that might be watching this, what would you say to them? I would say, stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I love that. And on that note, guys, <laughs> please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button and also give us a thumbs up thumbs up yes and make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms you have olivia has two moms on twitter as well as all right so we're getting the video there uh they're doing what every youtuber does which is letting people know to like comment share and subscribe which i hope y'all are gonna do for this channel and on the bliss and press channel which will be at the end of the video I hope you all enjoyed that video. Um, those who are open-minded to learning um, and being educated and informed on the LGBTQ community, I hope this helped you out a little bit, just a little tiny, tiny bit. And if not, um, get yourself informed. You know, ask around, ask questions. Happy Pride Month to everyone who supports us and is in the community. It is, it is great that this world has become a better place more accepting and I am so happy to be in the society that I'm living at now because back then, you know, I don't know if I would have been able to come out as 
a lesbian woman. Um, but in a society that I live in, I'm gay. And I love being gay, and I'm always gonna be gay, born gay. It is what it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope y'all stay tuned for the next video. Peace.